bells will you get more heat into the space as versus the same heater with a single bell so that's a great question um <laughs> tall shadow lace boundary layer yeah my boundary layers are getting uh, getting better by the day i move through the air uh very 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 efficiently these days <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's great tall shadow so um i can see your quote your your chat so maybe you guys can still hear me um so two bells one bell more heat into the space which one um here's my take on it let's assume that we're talking about a box of the same external dimensions if that were a single bell let me say it the other way around. If that were a double bell, let's say it's a, a box of the same external dimensions, and in the double bell configuration, it's got a divider, just a single wall divider down the middle of it. Well, in that example, you now have more ISA by the size of that divider times two for that flue gas to heat up. So you're going to extract more heat from the flue gas with that double bell configuration. You also have more mass by the size of that divider. Um, so you're going to extract more heat. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by my bad stream status. So you're going to extract more heat in the same size because you have more internal surface area. Does more heat get into your room from there? It's a, it's a good question. And, and again, I think it's going to really depend on a whole host of conditions. Um, if you make those double bells so that that internal surface area, you know, is all exposed to your space, then you probably will get more heat into your space. Um, but at the same time, it comes at a reduced chimney temperature, so slower draft, so probably slower heating up. Hey, David Swanson, good to see you. Um, so Belgian, or uh, excuse me, um, Tall Shadow, I'm going to say that I don't think there is, there is one answer. I don't think it's yes, it always will, or no, it always won't. I think it's going to depend on how you configure those bells, the size of the heater, the conditions outside, um, a whole lot of different things. How long you burn it, you know. Um, some burn cycles are going to favor a, a lower ISA. Some burn cycles are going to favor more ISA. Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's a right answer. I do feel like multiple bells are almost always going to add more complexity and they're going to add more more chance that you're going to have poor stove function at some point um so i'm not a big fan of them they, they make sense in some applications but you know you're until you've built a few of these you might not realize how dramatic the effect of cooling the gases you know is and one little brick box can cool fire exhaust an enormous amount when it's cold um it's surprising and so it's it's uh tempting to build multiple brick boxes and build multiple bells um but each one each stage you're adding is adding a whole nother cycle a whole nother stage of stratification you know, rising warm air, descending cool air, heat going into your mass, you're adding a whole nother cycle to your system. And at some point, that's probably going to bite you in the butt. You know, whether it's a warm day outside, and you're trying to get things started, you'll need more bypasses. We talked about that last week, there's ways to do it. I'm not trying to say don't do double bells. Um, but I am trying to say that I don't know if there's a hard and fast rule. 
to making sure that it's going to be what you want. I don't think it's always going to be better. Um, and my last statement on that is that I don't think that any ISA calculations or anyone else's, um, you know, experience is going to help you other than to just kind of steer you. But I do go back to one of my, I need to, I need to figure out how to put this into a rule or a tenant of rocket mass heater building. And I, I, I re, you know, but I think you guys know this about me is that one of my underlying principles of building a rocket mass heater is you're not going to get it right the first time. Don't try. Don't, don't assume that that's the last, you're going to stack those bricks up and never touch them again. And the reason I'm saying this is because I want to go back to your double bell question, um, tall shadow, and just say that in my opinion, the best way to go would be to build a single bell system and add on to it and tune as you go. Build a modest system you know will work well. Make it bigger as time goes on. Play with different things. Build a bell, put a divider in it take it apart next year do it again the other way try it in your experience see how you know in your situation see how it works in your you know in for your goals in your specific application um so i know that's not a great answer uh, but i don't think there is a, a a great answer for that question i don't think there's a always going to be a, a you know double bell always wins i don't think you can say that